Welcome back uh, to week 31, lesson number 2. We are busy looking at the Department of Basic Education of Republic of South Africa's National Senior Certificate, Grade 10, Mathematical Literacy, Paper 1, of the exemplar that was um, set up in 2012. It's quite a good paper. We are done with all financial uh, mathematics, so we're now going to look at various questions. Today we're going to look at question 3.2 that I asked you to do for homework and also question number 5.2. Right, so let's quickly go to 3.2. Let's just view it at a much larger size. Um, okay. Mr. Kulu, a father of three children, earns a net salary of 18,315 Rand per month after deductions. He budgets, sorry, he budgets every month as follows. Okay, so salary after deductions is 17,800. Our subsidy is 550. This is an extra amount that he usually gets on top of his salary and it amounts to 18350 which they told you there. His bond repayment is 4100 Municipal rates is 4075 Rand. Water and refuse, 325 Electricity, 580 Food, 2750 Car installments, 1650 Petrol is 1800 Entertainment is 1300 and school fees 940 Name one fixed expense. His bond repayment is a fixed expense and so is his car installment and school fees. Okay, let's look what the memo says hold in store for us. 3.2 the bond repayment or the rates and taxes, sorry, that's also one, or school fees or car installments. Okay, so those are fixed expenses. Remember, a fixed expense is an amount that you pay every month, but it is every month it is the same. Mr. Kulu calculated that the value of A is 2,202 rand. Show how Mr. Kulu calculated A, the amount of money he anticipates spending on clothes and cell phone in December. Okay, so what we do is we take um, 18,350 and times it by 12 percent. Okay, now if we take 18,350 and times it by 12 percent, we get 2,202 Rand. Uh, remember, if you don't have a percentage button on your calculator, times by 12 and divide by 100. Right, so that is the answer. Calculate total expenditure. So you will take the 2202, add 4100, 475, 325, 580, 2570, 1650, 1800, 1300, and 940 Rand. If you plus that all together, you get 16,122 Rand. And please remember to, to add this 2,202 Rand. And that's one of the reasons why they gave you this amount and say calculate. How, mu how, did you, how, does he, how did he calculate it? And last one, how much money does Mr. Kulu have after paying all his expenses? So you take the 18,350 minus the 1,622, what we just calculated, and that gives you 2,228 Rand. Okay, so that's question 3.2. Now let's go to question 3.5.2 Mrs. Sindimba is interested <coughs> in buying the new lounge suite shown in this advertisement. Show that the original price of this lounge suite 
was 5,499 Rand. Now, you, it says save 500 Rand. Do you see that? Now, if you take the 4999 and you plus 500, you get 5,499 Rand. Let's look what the memo says. Uh, same thing, 4,999 plus 500, yeah, you get to 4, uh, 5,499. Determine the percentage discount offer on this lunch suite using the, the uh, following formula, um, amount save, which is 500, divided by the original price which is the 5,499 rand this one so you take 500 divided by 5,499 times 100% just times the 100 not 100% 100 Okay, so it's 500 divided by 5499 times 100 and it gives us 9,09%. The last question. Suppose Mrs. Sindimba decides to buy the lounge suite on higher purchase as advertised by the store to double the total amount that she would have to pay. Okay, so it is a deposit which is a 500 rand plus monthly payments to 63 times 24. Okay, so it is the deposit, which was 500 Rand, plus 263 Rand times 24, and that gives us 6,000 812 rand and you see it's actually it's more than a thousand rand more almost a thousand four hundred rand more than what the original price is so it's actually better to save for a little bit before you buy something on um, higher purchase right now for tomorrow's lesson we going to look at paper two question 2.1 2.2, 2.3 and 2.4. Could you please do that for homework? Remember it's paper 2 and not paper 1. Thank you very much.